Okay, so just as I came to the conclusion that Noah Gregson and the Legacy Motor Club season, it was nowhere near close to the shit show the St. Louis Cardinals were having. All it took was the push of a button on Noah Gregson's phone to launch an absolute nuke on the NASCAR world. If you guys don't know, Noah Gregson liked an underneath meme on Instagram. Basically, this was a meme referring to the death of George Floyd. Obviously, things blew up and on Saturday morning, the Legacy Motor Club dropped the hammer and decided to indefinitely suspend Noah Gregson. NASCAR did the same. Josh Berry was ultimately announced as the super sub for Michigan and possibly the rest of the season. And then Noah Gregson shortly after issued this apology, taking accountability, mentioning that his more impulsiveness in terms of liking tweets really got the best of him. Okay, so now that you know the timeline, I want to reinforce this. Noah Gregson's rookie season has been abysmal. 33rd in points, yes, he missed a race due to a concussion, but he has been nowhere near where we thought he would be. The Legacy Motor Club has been just as bad. They had massive preseason expectations. Eric Jones has been awful this season. They had an L1 penalty. They've struggled on speed. Now they're in a lame duck year after they announced in April they would move from Chevrolet to Toyota. It's just an absolute shit show. And also keep in mind, there's not a lot of sponsorship dollars coming into the Legacy Motor Club now that Focus Factor decided to leave. Sure, you've got one-off sponsors like Black Rifle Coffee, Wendy's, U.S. Air Force, and the Bomberito Automotive Group. Outside of that, it's mostly Allegiant and Sunseeker Resorts, two companies that are tied to Maury Gallagher that are funding this team. So taking all of that into account, I'm going to say something controversial. I wouldn't be surprised if the Legacy Motor Club had an ulterior motive to suspending Noah Gregson. Especially since we don't know the process. How did the Legacy Motor Club come to this conclusion? What were they talking about, discussing in the past 24 hours after the meme surfaced to come to the conclusion that Noah Gregson should be suspended? So maybe there's scenario one, and this is mostly on Noah Gregson, but it's the fact that the Legacy Motor Club, they talked to Noah Gregson, they reached out to him, said that, hey, you know, you should unlike this meme and apologize. Noah Gregson said, fuck it, I'm not doing that. In response, the Legacy Motor Club was like, if you're not going to hold yourself accountable, we are going to hold you accountable. They ultimately decided to suspend Noah Gregson, and Noah Gregson only decided to apologize to try to save himself, which in the case of this weekend is a little bit too late. So in this situation, I would say it's more on Noah Gregson. However, let's look at scenario two. And I'm not saying this happened, but potentially Noah Gregson didn't get any response from the Legacy Motor Club. This entire thing blew up and behind the scenes you had Jimmy Johnson, Mari Gallagher, and the people at the Legacy Motor Club that basically came to the conclusion that Noah Gregson should be suspended. They didn't inform him or give him the opportunity to own up to his mistake until Saturday morning when they announced he was suspended. And if that was the case, if the Legacy Motor Club didn't reach out to Noah Gregson and try to clear this up in private, get some more context on the situation, this is largely unfair to Noah Gregson. And let me explain this out. In the social media era, reputation is everything. Sponsors, they want a driver that has a good reputation that's going to sell their product well. Noah Gregson is now known as the driver that got indefinitely suspended for liking an under the knee meme. You really think corporations are now going to want to sponsor him in the future? And yes, I know, Noah Gregson, he is partially or mostly at fault for this, for liking the tweet on his phone, getting it into this limelight. However, the way the Legacy Motor Club handled this was to go public, suspend Noah Gregson, and really damage his reputation when this could have been worked out in private, which is why I say the Legacy Motor Club potentially has an ulterior motive to suspending Noah Gregson. 
the 2024 NASCAR Silly Season rumor mill, it is heating up. And one of the names starting to get mentioned is Noah Gregson because Toyota, there's been rumors that Dave Wilson doesn't want him. They want to put someone like John Hunter Nemechek or Sammy Smith in that number 42. Someone that is potentially more talented and brings in more sponsorship. Well, now that you have the suspension, you kind of have an easy out to sit there and say, we are going to cut ties with Noah Gregson, not only because, well, you have him suspended, so now he can't come back until he gets a waiver from NASCAR, but also now the Legacy Motor Club can use the excuse that Noah Gregson isn't a driver that can sell sponsorship. Now he has a little bit of baggage to his name. He is now known in the public eye as someone that liked an under Denis meme. And if that is secretly the Legacy Motor Club's intent, Maury Gallagher and Jimmy Johnson, they are absolute geniuses. They had Noah Gregson playing checkers while they're playing chess to try to move on and try to get someone else in that car. However, this is unfair to Noah Gregson, even though considering that the colleague number 31 is available and that they have leaf filter on the car for most of the races. I believe Noah Gregson would be the favorite for that ride if he gets fired from Legacy Motor Club. Still, Noah Gregson now has a Kyle Larson-like reputation for liking a meme, not saying anything, not reposting something on Twitter, not sharing this to all his fans saying, ha ha, this is so funny, fuck George Floyd. Not to mention NASCAR being hypocritical yet again by suspending Noah Gregson, yet for Denny Hamlin, when he posts a meme about Kyle Larson and there were a lot of people that took this as making fun of Kyle Larson because he's an Asian and so because of that he's a bad driver. If you're comparing these incidents one on one and saying that race is a thing, well Noah Gregson got a much worse penalty for something much less severe. Besides that point, Noah Gregson, the Legacy Motor Club, man, you guys are having an absolute nightmarish outcome of a season. And you guys aren't going to want to miss that video coming out this fall like these ones on screen. Be sure to stay in the loop with all the full tank NASCAR content coming out on this channel. And other than that, this is Nathan for NRF Productions, Life's a Beach, and then you drive.